Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So as you can see, entry number 10 into the All at Sea group build is complete. Um, really enjoyed putting this together. AFV did a nice job um, with this kit. Uh, now, I said that this was a um, Gato class submarine before, and obviously that's incorrect. It's a, a Guppy class submarine. And um, Guppy stands for Greater Underwater Propulsion Power Program. There are three P's in that and there's only two P's in Guppy, but never mind. So the, the Guppy program was initiated by the United States Navy after World War II to improve submerged speed, maneuverability and endurance of its submarines. The Y in the acronym was added for pronounceability. So there you go. Um, the Navy began the program by testing the reverse engineering two captured German 21 U-boats that analysis led to four goals, increasing the submarine's battery capacity, streamlining the boat structures, adding snorkels and improving fire control systems. The Navy immediately focused on designing a new class of submarine, but the Bureau of Ships believed the fleet of existing Gato, Bailo and Tench class submarines could be modified to incorporate the desired improvements. In June 1946, the Chief of Naval Operations approved the Guppy project. The initial two-boat test program implemented by the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard eventually grew into several successive conversion programs. Those upgrades proceeded in several, seven variants in the following order. Guppy 1, Guppy 2, Guppy 1A, Fleet Snorkel, Guppy 2A, Guppy 1B and Guppy 3. So this particular kit was, uh, is of a, a Guppy 1B. Um, the Guppy 1B was an informal designation for a limited upgrade and modernisation given to four boats for transfer to foreign navies. These boats had snorkels and were generally similar to the Guppy 1A, except that they were not equipped with modern sonar, fire control systems or ESM. The two Italian boats were of the thin-skinned Gato class. So, you had... Um, USS Barb um, became Enrico Tazzoli, which the number was S511, and USS Dace became Leonardo da Vinci, which became S510. And that's the two boats that you can represent with this kit, either 511 or 510. So uh, that's nine completed builds. I've still got to finish the dedication to the missus which was, I think, entry number four. Um, I think I'm, I am running out of steam a bit for this uh, particular GB, although I have got so many more kits I could do for this. For the moment, I think I might uh, have a bit of a break and um, get some of the other builds that uh, are partway done finished. Um, I've got a couple of tanks, 172nd scale tanks, <coughs> that I want to get finished. Um, and I may jump back to doing a um, D-Day um, diorama, <coughs> which I have in mind. But uh, that's it guys, uh, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, really enjoying watching everybody else's videos and trying to catch up with those as best I can. And um, I hope all your builds are going well and I'll catch up with you soon.